Hey guesters, how are you guys is doing? Welcome to a new vlog and today I thought I would start with something different, something you don't normally see from YouTubers, something that we're always hiding away from you guys in our own sort of private lives. This is me bearing my soul to you. Today I'm doing my junk food haul. I thought that you guys, every single time, we're always advertising as eating like, like a seed for breakfast, fruit salad, you know, like nice avocado toast, although I've never made avocado toast in this channel. But you know, you know, you've seen us doing pressed juices, living healthy, living great, and you never really see what we like junk on you know so i thought i would do that i haven't actually bought a plastic bag of groceries that looks like this in a very long time and i thought let me enjoy it fully 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 i love crisps I love anything crunchy, I love nachos, I love, I love crunch, I love popcorn, so I've brought Doritos, and I normally buy the blue ones, but I wanted to try these um, tortilla ones from Pick and Pay, and these ones are sweet chili, and the Doritos, the blue ones are sweet chili, so I thought I would buy these green Doritos and be like, you know, switch things up, like I'm a texture person and crunch food I can eat all day or day okay okay this is a first for me this magnum specifically I love the almond magnum what is your favorite magnum capsters I am an almond girl like the original almond the vanilla ice cream with the milk chocolate and the hazelnuts that is my if you gotta buy me like a magnum that's the magnum to buy but this one is actually Instead of like vanilla flavored ice cream, it's hazelnut flavored ice cream and it's got dark chocolate with dark, the dark chocolate covering with the nuts. So I love dark chocolate, so I was like, okay, let me go try. Let's see, let's see. Um, and then I'm trying this for the first time. Ooh. Do you not want to be eaten? <laughs> okay, I'm trying the Kit Kat dark chocolate for the first time. And then obviously old school Kit Kat. I was actually just gonna buy um, normal dark chocolate because I was like, okay, you've bought chips, you've bought all of these other things. At least just get like go for like a nice dark chocolate. But then I saw this Kit Kat dark, and I was like, ah! and because I was already buying this one, I was like, it won't be enough. So I bought two. Two. I got plain old cheese. Unfortunately, they didn't have like, I like mature cheddar. That's my preferred cheese, but they didn't have, you guys know, you guys know that my fave, my fave, 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 fave is um, slap chips, but it's not Friday. And Friday is normally when I go to the fish and chip shop and I buy myself, you know, proper slap chips. So it's not Friday, so I can't really, I couldn't in my mind be like, okay go buy a full packet of slap chips so i just went and i got like i said to pick and pay please can i have like six lunch chips just so that the craving you know it's like it's not a lot like literally like it's this much chips guys like it's just it's very little but just to get the craving you know <laughs> and the plan is to actually today i feel like a chip sandwich so this is not very junky but it's the sasco low gi um seed bread and the chips are gonna go in here and the cheese is gonna go in there and this chili is gonna go in there and that is supper Thank you. 
chips on slap chips and this is healthy bread <laughs> mm. but it does the job it does the job okay. sorry I'll be with you in two <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my uncomfortable life, Gapsters. So I'm sitting in the Uber, <laughs> in the front seat. I was actually gonna sit in the back, but then I sat in the front seat because it's a bit weird to be like Uber driver. <laughs> now I'm talking to the camera and I'm sure he's wondering what's what the heck is this chick doing? <laughs> but anyway, I'm not gonna put anyone in the spot. I'm going to tell you about my day. It is uh, 11.27. I'm on my way to the licensing department. I said I was gonna wake up really early and go do this license thing but you know life I decided I was gonna have a nice morning because Lord knows I deserve a nice morning it's been a rough 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 month but things are looking good I'm gonna enjoy life a little bit you know you know be good to myself so I'm gonna be I'm on my way to the licensing department I just went to the bank to get a proof of residence and apparently I need four black and white pictures which I'm hoping that somebody at the licensing department has a stand or something and I can take them there and then that's it my license expired in December which I didn't realize actually I realized even by mistake I thought I was still good I think I thought I was still rolling with the stones I thought life was gonna be great so um, I need to have it done because one must always be ready to be driving <laughs> no I'm not getting a car anytime soon but yeah I hope it goes well I hope it's not a long queue I hope it's in and out less than an hour but um, I had a good breakfast so I'm ready to stand for as long as possible and I've got nothing else planned today except for going back home and cleaning the house because it's been a mess and I haven't really been able to you know be good to my house as well because I've just not been good to anybody lately <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today licensing department look at me oh did I show it this is my this is all you but you can't see because the car um, but this is my licensing department this is gonna be the face that's gonna be on my license for the next five years I hope it's a good face I hope I'm serving face but I didn't put too much makeup because it's black and white pictures so <laughs> it's not like they'll be able to see it but I did try and do a little contour nya 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 so that like you can see lines yeah, boy. that's what I tried but you know life so yeah I'll see you either at the licensing department or after the licensing department updates from the traffic department it is now quarter past four and I'm in the second queue which is for to pay because I've done my eye test now and that's great I'm almost there I'm almost there I think I'll be done here by five o'clock but um, my phone is dying which means that I will not be able to call Uber and this place is so far away from where I live and I actually I really am not familiar with the taxi route so it's gonna be fun like discovering a new taxi route late afternoon where you have like peak peak like client like that's when the taxis are their fullest that's when no one is interested in giving you directions <laughs> so yeah that's what I have to look forward to after this but hopefully my phone will last I put it on that like ultra 
ultra ultra battery saving mode so I'm hoping that it is gonna last a little bit but also I'm in the middle of a queue vlogging so bye hey Gupsters I'm back home it is oh I must actually charge my phone I must charge my phone because if you guys were to see it you would be like Gabby time is 7 10 look at my battery oh, it's not gonna charge it's literally it's not yellow anymore like my phone has never gotten to red but um yeah i just got home i finished with the licensing department at like 16 48 i think so i am like starving i'm so glad i actually ended up staying home and making myself a nice breakfast and just like having a good morning because i really would have been like really upset had i been um like hungry there i just would have been like ah, oh, it would have been a miserable day but i was able to just sit there and just enjoy and just be like even when my i was such an idiot actually you know i disappoint myself i really disappoint myself i did not charge my battery or rather last night i went to bed i charged my battery everything was good um but this morning because i didn't wake up and leave obviously i was like on twitter i was on instagram <laughs> i did all sorts of things and then like my battery i basically used up my battery so when i got there i think i insta i think i put up something on my stories and i thought oh you know i'll do like a whole stories day and talk about like the bump shuffle and the bed shuffling and all of that i couldn't because then i had to switch off my phone to like preserve energy so i could uber and yes my phone made it to uber so ultra power saving mode works it does work capsters so yeah otherwise um i really should clean but i think i'm gonna make something to eat i'm making a cup of tea i'm boiling water as you can hear and then i just need to hoover this place me i hoover everything here eh? and then um i just need to hoover and then um that's my bag that's all the stuff i came back with and then i'll mop later on just so that the hoover noise doesn't wake people up like when i'm mopping mopping but yeah i think i'll do it in stages but i'll try and do it tonight if not tonight then tomorrow morning because i think i'm only gonna go to work in the afternoon so that's my day done i'm gonna myself something to eat i'm actually eating leftovers it had that um, I'll show you the head that I wanted but I've absolutely fallen in love with this thing like it's so easy to use and everything I've used is this is from today because I clean it every time I use it like it's really powerful it's a tiny little thing I bought it purely because actually I bought it for its handheld 
abilities because I needed a handheld hoover. But it's really turned out to be the best thing ever. And I just, every time I use it, I... Just clean it up. Like, look. Look at that. That is just from today only. Like, this is only from today. Like, so, it's really powerful. I absolutely, absolutely love it. And then, what I do is I take this filter up. And I have the filter here, and I have an old toothbrush. Take a brush, and first I pull out all of these things. Kind of beat it out. And then, just kind of brush it out. Just by beating it, like you take it out of the lid, and just and then you pull this out. Okay, this can go into the wash, the filter can go into the wash. Um, and this is the other thing that I bought. I had initially bought it for this. Like if you watch my moving in video, you'll see that I use it to clean the window in between the window sills. So, and I bought, literally bought this Hoover just so that it can be like a handheld for this specific reason because then it could like fit in. But it works so well. And it works well like on the tiles, on the wooden floors, on the carpet, the little mats that I have. I have no arguments with it. This is it. It's this um, Aerovac. It's this one. It's not sponsored, you guys. Like, literally, so happy with this purchase. And I think it was like 600 bucks or something. Like, it wasn't that expensive, but it was like 600 bucks. Definitely. No, yeah, it was about 600 bucks, so I'm so happy with this thing. It's like super duper happy. So, you can't really see it, but in here is water and vinegar. And basically the reason why I use that and I don't use soap is for the wooden floors. So in here in the bedroom I'm going to use this water and vinegar and sorry and bicarbonate of soda. It's water, vinegar, bicarbonate of soda. You can see how it's like fizzing on the sides, those bubbles. It's bicarb. And basically that stops any buildup of like cleaning product on the wood. And yeah, because if you use like soaps and things like that, then you can actually like um, you can have like soap build up the sitting room and the bedroom. And then I'm going to add soap to the water and then mop the rest of the place. I don't use my house that much. Like there isn't much traffic. The main places that actually need good mopping is the kitchen and the bathroom. So like I can use basically like the same water throughout the house and it's not too much a big of a big deal because the other rooms really ever, 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 really get used. So this is going to work here and in the bedroom. But if it is really dirty, then I change the water and then I mop. Then I get a new bucket for um, all the tiled areas in the house. You also don't do that wet mop because you don't want the water soaking into the wood so I do like a dry mop like just throughout the wood 
because some of these also have more varnish than other pieces and um, yeah I don't want them to like absorb too much wood too much water and start rotting and things like that so I do a dry mop mm -hmm. 